What is SQL Distinct and how can you use it? In this video, you'll learn all about the distinct keyword in SQL, what it does, how to use it and what to look out for. Distinct is a handy keyword when working with SQL queries. I've used it in many queries and have even noticed a few times when I should not have used it. Let's look at all of that in this video. So what is distinct? The word distinct actually means unique or different from others. The way it's applied in SQL is to get you unique information. You can add it to a select query to tell the database, hey, only show me unique records, don't show me duplicates. So how do we use it? Let's see an example. For this video, we'll be using MySQL, but this code will work the same on any SQL database, such as Oracle, SQL Server, or PostgreSQL. Let's say we have a sample data table that contains data about customers. Now, let's say we want to see a list of customer names because we want to get name tags printed or something. So we can write a query like this. Select first name from customer. If we run this query, we'll see a list of names. However, there are some duplicates. The name John is shown twice. What if we want to remove the duplicates? We only want to show each name once. We could delete the records from the table, but generally that's not a good idea. We can adjust our SQL query to only show us unique values. And that is what distinct is for. To use it, add the distinct keyword after the select keyword and before the first column name, right here. This will tell the database to only show unique records. We can run the query and this is what it shows. All duplicate values are removed. The distinct keyword is not a function, so we don't need any parameters. We just add the keyword to the select query. What if we want to show multiple columns? We can do the same thing. We have the select distinct and then whatever columns we want to show. The results will then be unique. One thing to remember is that distinct will eliminate duplicate results, but it won't eliminate duplicate column values. This is a key point. You might get two results with the same customer name, for example here, two results with the same first name of John, but values that are different in other columns, such as last name. Distinct will treat the row as being different. Another way you can use distinct is to find the number of unique values. The count function will count the number of rows if using select star or the number of values if you specify a column. For example, select count first name from customer will show the number five because there are five values of the first name in the table. It counts values that are not null. This will be pretty close to the number of records in the table. What if you want to find the number of unique names? Rather than selecting the distinct names and counting them, you can add it to your count function. However, if you try this by putting distinct after the word select, you'll get this result. This is the same as without distinct. This is because you're telling the database to find the count of names and then give me the distinct of that result. It will always show the one value, but we want to count the distinct values. We do this by adding the distinct inside the count function. Select count distinct first name. We can run this query and see a different result. This is the number of distinct names in the customer table. So the distinct keyword is pretty powerful, right? There's one more tip I want to give you. When you start working with complicated queries that join many tables together, you might get a result that shows duplicate rows. It shows more than you're expecting. Let's see this query here. This is a complicated query on an Olympic Games database that shows some Olympic competitors, some Olympic Games and the results. We can see an example of the results here. You might get a result that shows duplicate rows such as these first two values here. 
One way to fix this is to add the word distinct to your query to get rid of those duplicates. That can work, but it's probably not the right solution. Your data here is likely duplicated because of a missing drawing criteria or a missing where clause, or data in another table that actually causes two rows to be shown. Some records in tables are joined, but they may need to be joined on two columns, and you've only specified one. Or maybe you haven't excluded the inactive records or some other values in a column. This can cause the duplicate values to appear in your results. I've seen this with a project I've worked on. Adding distinct will remove the duplicates, but it can be an expensive step. You're getting more data than you need, and then you're filtering it. The better solution would be to investigate why your results are duplicated and fix your query. So distinct is powerful, but it's not always the right answer. Be aware of how it can be used and when you may have other issues in your query. If you learned something new from this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn more about database design and SQL development, visit databasestar.com. That's where I share my best database related content. So which method of using distinct from this tutorial was most helpful for you? Was it the fact that distinct operates on the entire row or how you can use distinct with count or something else? Comment below and thanks for watching.